so my name is Robbie Foley. I'm a driver for BMW M Motorsport in the rear world and Turner Motorsport, where we are today uh, at the Turner shop, uh, and also BS Competition in the in the iRacing virtual world. So I race all over the world, but mainly in the IMSA Championship um, this year with Turner Motorsport in the GTD category uh, in M4 GT3, just like in iRacing, and uh, also in the Michelin Pilot Challenge Series in GS in our M4 GT4. A little bit of GT World Challenge here and there, but uh, but mainly in IMSA. Yeah, kind of organically through the BMW side of it, um, I was asked to uh, take part in the IMSA iRacing series. And at the time, BS was supporting um, BMW Motorsport. There's a close synergy there, obviously, as one of the official BMW and Motorsport sim teams. Um, and essentially, after that season, kind of Florian approached me about joining and, and asked if it was something I would want to take on. And, and it was an easy answer, yes. It was a, an interesting race. We had a very fast car that day. My teammate Patrick, who started the race off, did a great job. Um, and for those of you that pay attention to IMSA, there's a lot of strategy involved in these races these days. Um, just with the fuel windows and how it works and how do you, how do you pass people without passing them on track. Um, so we've got very clever strategists in our team, luckily, that, uh, that kind of drew up this strategy to essentially save a lot of fuel in, in all of the stints and try to undercut people. So yeah, that worked out really well for us. Uh, in the last two stints, we had to save quite a lot of fuel and it ended up working out in the last stint, we had to save two laps of fuel, which is a big ask. Um, yeah, fuel saving is a big, uh, a big part of what we do and something that we also do in the virtual world. During, you know, kind of the COVID lockdown situation, I was on iRacing all the time and and me and my rear world teammates um, like Bruno Spangler and others that were doing uh, that were doing the iRacing series with me, we basically adopted some of the similar rear world strategies um, that we would use in 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 the real IMSA series. So we we would save a lot of fuel during these races. We have similar telemetry setups that we would have in uh, in the real world, just tied to our sim. Um, so I had teammates from BS Competition that were my race engineer for the races, uh, mostly Alex Voss. And basically, we're, they're giving you a fuel number to hit per lap. You're watching it the same way you would in real life. And we probably practiced this, no kidding, you know, for, for 100, 200 hours in, in COVID. So transferring that back to the real world, it's a one-to-one -one comparison. Like, it is exactly the same technique. And it was a big ask at VIR to be able to hit, hit those numbers and save that fuel. And, I was really confident in knowing how to do it uh, just from practicing uh, in iRacing. Exactly, I don't think Will would love that so much. Uh, so absolutely, and uh, yeah, just to be able to, yeah, stay fresh and sharp, it's, it's a huge tool. It's one that, there's a reason why BMW is so invested in the, in the sim racing world. It's great to have you know, them partnered with iRacing and, and collectively between Turner, BS Competition, the team I drive for, and BMW Motorsport, you see a real world collaboration from, or, or both worlds combined. Um, and, you know, they're one of the manufacturers, I really think they're doing it the best to have, to have such a synergy between all of the different disciplines. Um, all the cars that we race in real life, we also can drive in the virtual world. So I, I can drive my M4 GT3 at any given track. Yeah, and even this year we had yeah our M4 GT4 in, in the GS category, Michelin Pilot. We had his we call it a Zebring livery, which is a is a pretty cool name. It worked out, and we yeah we won the race this year. So um, that was kind of a full circle. Uh, basically, some guys that work with Will, um, the famous Crotch Belt Twitter account that some of you may know, uh, and um, Florian and all the guys at BS Competition had this crazy idea to collaborate because during COVID I was racing a Turner car in iRacing in the IMSA series. So uh, we basically continued that on into the real world. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been a really fun process, something I'm really passionate about because I've, as I said, been on iRacing since 2010. Yeah, I would, uh, I would say a few things straight off the bat, but I, I treat it like real world racing. I don't want to crash the car. If I crash the car, I'm in a lot of trouble. And yeah, I think in iRacing, um, it's easy to over push or overdo certain things because there's, there's still consequences, but less than the real world, let's be honest, right? So for me, I treat it, I treat it hundred percent as if I was, I was driving in the real world. For me, the biggest, um, benefit is really the mental side of it because in a real car, 
you're like, you're almost fighting the whole time physically also, um, where on the sim, it's really all mental to stay focused, you know, to not let any kind of, if your air conditioning kicks on or, you know, to not, to not break that focus is very difficult. And if I can do, um, let's say an ESS race, that's an hour long in the LMDH car and I'm hundred percent on it the whole time, hitting all my marks and not making any mistakes, it's almost easier to do it in the real world. So um, for me, the biggest thing is mental. I spend a lot of time leading up to the Rolex 24 every year in January, just ripping through races on iRacing, trying to keep my brain function. Um, and what's also cool is that helps you get to this kind of automatic state of driving when you're on the sim and you just try to focus as much as you can. And that, that helps you conserve energy in real life. That helps your mental side. Yeah, so I would say um, in the rear world, we never get a direct kind of reading or output on our tire kind of data other than temperature and pressure, right? So in iRacing, when you pull into the pits after a stint, you see percentage of how much your tire of tires you have left. So I would say saving tires is not something we talk about in the rear world a ton, but adjusting your driving style and seeing how that plays out over a stint because you can directly see it. You pull in the pits and okay, the previous stint I had 27% left on my left front. Now I've got 40 and my last five laps were faster. So making the driving automatic leaves brain capacity for other stuff. So um, like in Indy, I caught myself looking at the TV, you know, watching a car go off and telling the strategist, hey, there's a car off and turn whatever, like think about, should we think about coming in, right? So you as the driver in the sim like i'm watching my telemetry for fuel right and when should i pit how much fuel should i take on do i take tires um it makes the driving automatic in a way uh where you can then use the rest of your brain to think about other stuff which a lot of times you're racing drivers that are really fast and really good but they're 100 percent consumed by just driving and you can outthink them you can catch them and say okay well I'm not going to put a big emphasis on making a, a crazy move to pass you. I'm going to save a little fuel and beat you in the pit lane. Um, so for me, that kind of mental acuity and just the repetition you get doing all these things, you know, I can do a, I can do a GTP race. I can interact with, with GT cars. I can drive a GT car and have prototypes interact with me. So in the real world, I drive a GT car. I can learn how I'm going to get passed by a GTP car from iRacing. I guess to summarize, yeah, saving fuel, saving tires, traffic interaction, and just really keeping your brain super sharp. Um, that's, that's really helpful.